Welcome to another Ukulele Beatles lesson. In this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on twist and shout. We're going to jam the whole song. I'm going to teach you the intro. We'll also learn how to play the instrumental solo. When you put it together with your friends, it sounds like this. Isn't that cool? You can play that with your friends. Get your ukulele out and let's jump right into the lesson. You can follow along with everything here on the screen. There are links to printables for community members. There's also a lot of bonus material for members of the Ukulele Zen community. Check the links in the description below or right here anytime during this video. Click this little dot to learn more. Twist and Shout is essentially a three chord R&B song and there are lots of ways to strum it. Lots of different rhythms you can add with the strumming hand. Let's first focus on the fretting hand. Get totally solid on these chords so we can play intuitively. As you play these chords, notice how there's a guide finger. A guide finger is something that will really help you move from one chord to the next. You play your D and then just slide this finger up, find G. You know, it asks you to slow down and just focus on the moment you change. But if you take just 10 seconds to do this, it will mean you'll break the habit of letting go and then finding the chord again. Much quicker to keep the hand closer to the fretboard. There's another guide finger when we move to from G to A. First finger just slides down. So that slide feels very light, right? We're not dragging it with a lot of weight. Take about 10 seconds to do this. Right now, pause the video and just go through these three chords and you can add the A7 as well at the end. Solid. All right, now let's warm up our voice with a basic strum through the chords. The strum will be this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. One, two, and three, four. Strum along with me. Shake it up, baby, now. Twist and shout. Just try to hit the pitches with your voice. Come on, baby, now. Come on, work it on out. So just give yourself permission to warm up your voice, focus on hitting the pitches while you keep a steady rhythm. Now, let's play the intro. So here's how you play the introduction. Now, it begins with this walk up of three notes, second fret, fourth fret, then first fret on the third string, and we land on the bottom two notes of D. So as we play, you see how we are essentially picking around the chord shapes. If you're on a high G tuning, this will sound a little different. I would say just play with your high G tuning for now. Next, we move to our G chord and strum the bottom three strings. Pick through to the top string and then open, let it ring and hop over to that A7 chord. Right now, you can play A7 with two fingers, open one and three, to get that extra crunchy dominant seventh sound. Putting it all together, one, two, three. Play it all with the thumb or you use finger style. One, two, three. Really, whatever feels best to you, it's only a quick introduction before we start strumming the song. Got more to share with you. Let's learn the solos right now. If you're digging this so far, would do me a huge favor and click the like button. It helps YouTube to spread my videos to others. Leave a comment down below and Vote for the next Beatles lesson. Look forward to hearing from you in the comment section down below. All right, now let's learn the solo. We're gonna learn it two ways, first in single notes and then in very cool harmonies. Playing the solo is actually pretty easy. We're gonna pick through the chords and learn a very cool technique. Watch how the thumb can stop and be a little more precise with how it picks through the strings. Ready? Bum, 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 bum. One more time. Three, four. Bum, 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 bum. The 
rest of it. Open three, two, with me. Open three, two, let's put it all together. Two, three, four. Again, dum. last time. This kind of accuracy drilling is best done in slow bursts of accuracy. I would recommend you go for three or five bullseyes when you're learning something. Smile, make it feel relaxed, make it fun. Pretty soon you're going to be able to recall this info anytime you want. Now there's another way to play this solo. It's really cool. It uses harmonies of thirds and it makes your ukulele sound like a horn section. Let me demo it, then I'll break it all down for you. One, two, three, four. So you could be playing this while your friends are holding down the rhythm, right? You could teach a whole bunch of friends to play this, so you'd have a massive sound of the harmonies and the chords. Pfft, so beautiful. This is how you play it. Place your middle and ring finger. It's underneath the D major chord. Okay. And then slide those two fingers up to the seventh fret. Now that slide, big leap. So let go. And my practice tip for you is to look at your destination. My whole world is the seventh fret right there. So just focus on the seventh fret. Great. Next part, we move up to play this pair of notes, seventh fret and fifth fret. And that fits very nicely under the fingers. You don't even need to lift up the ring finger. Okay, so let's play those first three pairs. And I know that leap is quick. Make friends with it pretty soon. You'll just feel that distance very intuitively. After this, we move on to the next part. This first finger slides down one fret, and the second finger is right beneath it at the fifth fret. Play those top strings. Great, now open. And now that same shape down here at the third and second fret. Last one, two and O. Oh. When you put that all together, put it all together with the first part, and it sounds like this, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Now, I would recommend you rewind this video because this is some details that you will want to sit with watching your hand. Once you get comfortable with it, play it with short notes. Just lift the pressure off. Right there, just relax it. It's not that you're squeezing it, it's that you're relaxing it. So, last time. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments below of how this lick is improving your playing and bringing a lot of fun to you and your friends. You want to play the whole tune? Come on, let's do it. All right, let's have a good time singing and strumming this together. Get yourself in the groove here by scratching your strings 120 beats a minute. You ready to do this? Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. And uh, one, two, three. Shake it up, baby, now. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, work it on out. You work it on out. You know you look so good. You know you got me going now. Just like I knew you would. Shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. <laughs> Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, work it on out. You know you twist, little girl. You know you twist so fine. You want to twist a little closer now. Let me know that you're mine. 
instrumental now. jamming along have fun playing this tune just the way you want to play it right here is another Beatles tutorial hope to see you in there for some more jamming thanks for watching